can see on this uh, video, I ran a compression test. Uh, basically what I did, I put napkins on top of the uh, cylinders. And when you spin the engine, uh, the napkins should fly out, but uh, none of them did. Um, so none of the, uh, none of the cylinders had compression. And I, I, this car wouldn't start for nothing. I, no matter what I did, it, the car wouldn't start. There was no compression, zero compression, all full cylinders. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna run a test and I'm going to uh, I do a cylinder leak down test on all four cylinders. Just to show you that this engine was misdiagnosed. Uh, it, was di it was diagnosed by another shop with no compression and the customer just decided not to, not to fix it. Uh, and I bought it at the auction. Obviously it was a no start and uh, no matter what I did, I couldn't get this engine to start. But let me show you what I found. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a cylinder leak down test on all four cylinders. And uh, we're gonna check for uh, compression. As you can see, we do have pressure. Uh, I'm injecting more than 100 pounds. You don't need to do that. Uh, you can do, do, do 100. And you should be on the green or the set mark. Right now we are past the set mark. So that means it's really good. cylinders are good. Ouch. As you can see, it blew a lot of carbon. Damn it, that hurts. All of the uh, valves are uh, filled with carbon buildup, and this number three, I've been trying to clean it. As you can see, most of the carbon blew out, even on this one, uh, right there. Uh, most of the carbon cleaned up. These are kind of dirty. As you can see, they got a lot of carbon build up in there. Uh, even when I popped it, you see all the carbon, it just blew right on my hand. It freaking hurts. As you can see, the uh, 
harmonic balancer it, it, it holds the uh, the reluctant wheel for the uh, crankshaft position sensor and it has no guide uh, the uh, crankshaft is not key so um, once you loosen this bolt right here your uh, pulley is just gonna float around uh, same thing with the cam facers uh, they're just gonna float around there's no marks there's no timing marks there's no uh, uh, guys, there's no key. Um, obviously, somebody's been in here. As you can see, the silicon right here and the silicon right here. Uh, I think somebody tried to put this back together. Uh, I don't know what they did, but obviously they did open uh, this uh, this timing cover right here. Uh, they did not replace any timing chain components, uh, but just. Just the fact that you remove this uh, pulley right here, that's just gonna throw off your uh, timing chain. Or your timing is gonna be off. So you need special tools to hold the uh, camshaft and the crankshaft and the uh, flywheel also, because when you go tighten this bolt, the flying wheel has to be secured that way the time doesn't move on you. So uh, let me know what you wanna watch. I will clean this engine and I'm gonna order brand new timing chain and tensioners and new gaskets and I can show you how to put it all back together so if you like this video just like and follow for more I'll see you on the next one so obviously somebody's been in this vehicle before and uh, I believe they tried to do the uh, timing chain they try to mess with it but uh, they couldn't get it right. Um, if you install the timing chain wrong, you're gonna have all kinds of uh, timing chain codes, misfires, and a no star. So obviously this is the case on this engine. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove it from here. I'm gonna take it to the bench. I am going to clean this engine. Uh, I'm gonna try to clean the valves. Uh, there's a proper way to clean the valves. I just don't have the machine, but I'm gonna do my best. And I'm gonna make sure that cylinders are holding pressure. And I'm gonna put everything back together. So you guys let me know what you wanna watch. Do you wanna see when I'm uh, cleaning the engine? You wanna see the timing chain install? Um, you wanna see how to put it back together? How, you wanna see how to put it back together in the car? Um, just put them in the comments. Let me know and I'm gonna to try to make a video for you guys. That way you have an idea of what I'm doing over here. Uh, these engines can be uh, misdiagnosed very easily. They're very hard to diagnose, but they can be misdiagnosed very easily. So you have to know what you're doing. And if you want to learn, learn more about this engine, this is 2016 uh, Ford Edge with the 2.0, uh, the 1.6, the 1.5, they're very similar. They're very similar, uh, but they do they are a little different. So I do have one for the uh, 1.6. I think it's a uh, Escape. And I think I have one for the uh, 1.6 uh, Fusion. They're very similar, but they, uh, they're not the same. Um, so just put them in the comments and uh, I'll, get, I'll get some content for you guys. Like and follow for more. I'll see you on the next one.